New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood is suing the Trump Foundation and its board of directors, President Donald Trump, his daughter Ivanka, and his sons, Eric and Donald Jr. There's no reason why a foundation owned and operated by a sitting president should be exempt from the laws that we routinely apply to other foundations. A complaint filed today says President Trump illegally used the charity to pay legal settlements related to his golf courses by a painting of himself and boost his political image with donations directed by his campaign staff. But the foundation calls the lawsuit politics at its very worst and defended its record saying it donated over 19 million dollars to worthy charitable causes. The president tweeted, I won't settle this case, calling it ridiculous. President Trump made a similar remark that he wouldn't settle a lawsuit against Trump University, but ultimately paid out $25 million. Meantime, at the federal level, the inspector general's 18-month review into the FBI's handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation was just released. The Justice Department watchdog says former FBI Director James Comey was insubordinate in his handling of the investigation during the 2016 election, but also concluded there was no evidence that he was motivated by political bias. Comey tweeted out, I respect the DOJ IG office, which is why I urge them to do this review. The conclusions are reasonable, even though I disagree with some. Also highlighted in the report, text between FBI investigator Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page. According to the report, Page texted Strzok in August 2016, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? Strzok responded, no, no, he won't. We'll stop it. It reaffirmed the president's suspicions about Comey's conduct and the political bias among some of the members of the FBI. Now, the report says Page and Strzok's conduct cast a cloud over the entire FBI investigation, but that there was no evidence that political bias directly affected parts of the probe. In the newsroom, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.